What is good everyone? It is Spirit of Paradox here and welcome back to another video. Today we are starting off Mark Millar and Brian Hitch's The Ultimates. So The Ultimates is going to be a weekly series as well. We are going to have Ultimate Origins on Mondays and we're going to have The Ultimates on Wednesdays and Fridays. The reason for this is because the Ultimates is a long run and I do plan on doing Ultimates 2, I'm not doing 3 and we're going to do Ultimate Comics the Ultimates as well. So with all further ado, let's get into Superhuman. So we start off in the North Atlantic in 1945 where you see a series of planes getting ready to deploy soldiers onto the next battlefield. As this is happening, soldiers are getting ready to put on their parachutes and get ready to jump out. But some of the soldiers see this as a suicide mission to take down this Nazi secret weapon. One of the soldiers though has hope and believes Captain America is that secret weapon. But a lot of them are just very disgruntled and really believe that they're not going to make it home. One of the soldiers still has hope that they have their own secret weapon. And that is Captain America. Still disgruntled by the idea of that, Captain America is preparing himself and looking at a picture of his old girlfriend. One of the soldiers says how is he going to be of any help to us when he's not wearing a parachute, when parachutes is something Captain America never seems to use in this universe. So if you've ever wondered why um, or where Captain America from the MCU gets the idea of jumping out of planes without parachutes. He gets it from the Ultimate Universe, specifically the Ultimates. As all the soldiers parachute down onto the battlefield, they are greeted to basically hell. There's explosions, debris, bullets flying everywhere and people are dying. The soldiers are wondering where Captain America is and one of the soldiers gets hit and they are needing reinforcements. Then we later on find out Captain America is still in the plane and is getting ready to crash it into one of the enemy bases so they could push forward. There's so much going on, the illustration and the art here is fantastic I must say. This looks straight out of a Hollywood movie. But Captain America says over and out and crashes the helicopter or plane sorry, into the base and finds a place to land safely. As all the soldiers are looking in shock and awe, Captain America is kicking all the Nazis' asses. And then we have one of the most iconic moments in Ultimate Universe history. What are you waiting for ladies? Christmas? Man ultimate Captain America and his quotes. So he ends up pushing forward with his allies and break into the enemy base and they go through loads and loads of soldiers. They get into the main hangar room where they see a giant missile and that is about to be launched by the enemy leader. With the German leader now knowing Captain America and his allies are in the room, he decides to push the detonation and sends the missile on its way. All the people who were working underneath it, they end up getting incinerated, but Captain America ends up going through as many enemies as he can and basically sponges the rocket's blast. Like, like, like guys, 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 Captain America right, is such a badass in this universe. My guy jumps into the rocket flames to grab onto the rocket and sponge that. I don't even know if 616 Captain America was capable of doing that. Did he ever do that in the 616? Because if he can do that in the 1610, like that, that's serious, bro. <laughs> but anyway, note a key difference here. Bucky is not on the missile with Captain America on the missile. He is on the ground speaking to him via the radio. And then Captain America is trying to stop the missile the best way he can by lodging a grenade into it, causing an explosion to knock it off course and causing the missile to detonate. Captain America falls into the ocean and drifts down into the deep. And you know where the story ends here, folks. He falls under, they lose him for decades and he becomes frozen in ice and he is later to be refound in the new millennium. 
in the next issue. All right, so that is Ultimate One Superhuman, folks. So thank you very much for watching. This is actually my second ever comic book breakdown video where I go issue by issue. So please let me know how I did in the editing. This is my second ever one I've ever done. And um, if you guys would like to support me, make sure you drop a like. I have got plenty of Ultimate Universe content coming. On uh, Monday, I have got um, Ultimate Origins. We do that on a weekly basis now. So every Monday, we do the Ultimate Origins. Every Wednesday and Friday, we do the Ultimate. So uh, we've got plenty of weekly content coming up. And we're going to keep doing it until we get to Ultimate Comics, the Ultimate. And probably up to Ultimate End. I'm not going to do all the Ultimate Comics. But I'm just going to do the ones that are mainly going to be related to Ultimate Invasion. So we'll see how this all goes. And if you guys want some more ultimate content, let me know in the comments below or in the community tab below, um, in the community section. Thank you very much for watching this video and I will see you in the next one. Take care.